Alright, so muli na naman nagbabalik ko lang iba kunti ang inyong lingkod na si Prop Macho Man. Alright, so at of course, eto na ang pinaka-aantay na lahat. Walang iba kunti ang ating Hunting Horn Tutorial by Prop Macho Man. Alright, so napaka-straight forward po ng ating tutorial ng Hunting Horn. Dito pag-uusapan natin ang number one, bakit ko kukunti ang gumagamit ng Hunting Horn. Next, number two is the basic control of the hunting horn. Next is the music part of the hunting horn. Of course, from the name itself, it's a siyang musical instrument. Next is the different tips, basic to semi-advanced tip on using the hunting horn. And last but not the least is the pros and cons of using the hunting horn. And take note, no, pag-uusapan po natin to in almost pure Filipino. Yan, ito po ay dinisenyo ko. Para sa ating mga Pinoy at mga Pinay hunters yan, all around the world. Yan. And of course, disclaimer, by the way, yan, number one, hindi po tayo pro sa paggamit ng hunting horn. Ito po ay ginawa natin to help. Yan, to help beginner hunters. Next po na si disclaimer is of course, di po natin dito pag-uusapan yung mga motion values or yung mga math all about hunting horn. No? Yan. So dahil dyan, no, wag na natin itong patagalin. Simulan na natin to sa number one. Bakit ba ko konti ang gumagamit ng hunting horn sa Monster Hunter World yan or sa Monster Hunter World Iceborne or sa lahat ng Monster Hunter. So simple lang, ang dahilan diyan ay ito. Yan, yung mga melodies na tinatawag. So marami kasi na nag-iisip na ang paggamit ng hunting horn ay sobrang komplikado dahil of course kailangan mong tugtugin lahat yan. But in reality, sa loob ng isang hunt, at least dalawa lang diyan or tatlo sapat na. Gamit itong ating tutorial, yan, ay gagawin nating mas less complicated ang paggamit ng hunting horn. So let us now proceed to the basic controls of the hunting horn. So simulan natin sa ating triangle attack. Pressing the triangle when you are stationary or nakatayo lang yung hunter mo will do the left gulp swing. Next is adding the directional button where you are facing, yun, kung saan ka naharap or saan naharap yung hunter mo, plus the triangle will do the downward slam. So again, adding the directional button plus the triangle kung saan ka naharap will do the downward slam. Okay, next is the circle attack. Pressing the circle while you are stationary or kapag hindi gumagalaw or naglalakad yung hunter mo will do the right gulp swing. Next is pressing the circle plus the direction that you are facing. Yan. Kapag ginawa nyo to, i-execute ng hunter mo yung tinatawag na double note attack. Alright, next is the triangle plus circle attacks. So, pressing the triangle plus circle when you are stationary will do the backward slam. Next is of course, triangle plus circle plus the direction that you are facing will do the super slam or super pound na tinatawag. So, yung triangle plus circle attack, ang ituturing natin na isa sa pinakamalakas na basic na attack or basic attacks ng hunting horn. So, a new addition to the hunting horn sa Monster Hunter World Iceborne is called the spinning hunting horn attack or ako lang nagpangalan doon. <laughs> So, nagagawa to or napeperform to by pressing the L2 button after any attack or any button press. After ng triangle, after ng circle attack, after ng triangle plus circle attack. So, the spinning HH move is one of the DPS move ng hunting horn. So, matuturing natin to na isa sa mga moves na nagpataas ng DPS ni hunting horn. And by the way, using the spinning hunting horn will add a new note to the hunting horn. So, hindi ko alam kung ano yung tawag sa note na yan. Basta ginagawa ko siya. And of course, after ng special note na yun is you can add another note to perform the bubble pops for the hunting horn. One thing to take note about the spinning hunting horn attack is you can cancel the spinning hunting horn attack during the time na naibaba ng hunter mo yung hunting horn niya sa sahig. So hanggang hindi niya pinaiikot yon, pwede mong i-press yung X button to evade and cancel the spinning HH attack. Alright, another addition is the clutch claw attack. So nagagawa to by pressing L2 to aim your clutch claw and then press circle to grapple onto a part of the monster and press triangle 
to execute a very wonderful and very majestic hunting horn attack. O, oh, pwede rin natin sabihin na ano, very fabulous attack. <laughs> Alright, and that's all for the basic attacks of the hunting horn. Let us now proceed to the musical part of the hunting horn. Of course, ito ang isa sa pinakamahalaga na aspect ng hunting horn, yung kanyang pag-play ng music. So, dito pag-uusapan natin yon and let us begin with the recital. Okay, so kapag meron kang naka-cue na music sa yung hunting horn, you can cue at least 3 music at a time. Pressing the R2 button will perform those music. Or we call this the recital. So tandaan to, while your hunter is doing the recital, pag mas dan mabuti, yung kulay green na parang highlight na gumagalaw pababa ng music nung hunting horn mo. So, bakit kailangan mo siyang bantayan? Dahil dito, hindi mo na kailangan tapusin yung buong animation ng music kapag nawala na yung last na highlight doon sa mga music mo. Another thing to take note kapag ikaw ay magre-recital is you can do a recital draw attack. So, pwede mong pindutin yung R2 kapag nakashit yung weapon mo to go straight into a recital. And by the way, you can cancel your recital by pressing the X button anytime. Alright, another thing to take note is pwede mong dagdagan ng directional analog press yung iyong recital to perform different animations for your recital. Tandaan, pinakamalakas ang backward and forward na directional recital and pinakamabilis ang left and right na directional recital. Next is of course, pag pinag-uusapan pa rin natin ang musical aspect ng hunting horn, hindi mawawala dyan ang encore. So ano ba ang encore? Yung encore ay ang paraan para tugtugin mo ulit yung mga tinugtog mong music ng mas mabilis to bump up or to increase and power up the effects. Of course, pwede mo din naman sila ulit tugtugin one by one. Tama naman yon. Pero ang gamit ni encore is to shorten the time na ma-perform mo ulit lahat nung tinugtog mong notes. Alright, next na pag-uusapan natin is all about the double notes na tinatawag. So, kung natatandaan nyo kanina, yung ating circle attack plus the directional button, yan, ginagawa niya yung tinatawag natin na double note attack. So, para, an, para saan ang double note attack? Ginagawa to para mas makatipid ka ng oras sa pag-perform ng additional na note. So, paano to ini-execute? So, sa gitna nung animation ng double note attack or ng, circle, ng forward circle attack, you can press an additional button. It's either triangle, circle, or triangle plus circle to add that note to your cue. So, sa ganong paraan, hindi mo na kailangan pindutin ulit or pindutin pa yung button na yon to add it to your notes. So again, to perform that, sa middle ng animation, nung forward circle attack or the directional circle attack, add another button press. It's either triangle, circle, or triangle plus circle. Okay, so the next thing for the music part or the music aspect of the hunting horn is called the hill stab. So, ito yung attack na ginagamit ng hunter mo, yung dulo ng hunting horn niya to attack a monster or to attack or perform a specific note. So, paano ba siya ini-execute? So, ini-execute siya by pressing the opposite direction that you are facing plus any attack button. It's either triangle, circle, or triangle plus circle after any attack. So, yun yung pinakamadaling paliwanag sa kanya. And also, tandaan po na ang hilt stab ang isa sa pinakamahirap i-execute na move ng hunting horn. Bakit? 
Dahil kailangan meron kang special recognition. Dahil dapat alam mo kung saan nakaharap at nakatalikod ang hunter mo kapag pineperform mo itong move na to. Okay, so tandaan po ito. Speaking of hill stab, tandaan po ito. Sobrang halaga nito. After doing a hill stab and then pressing the R2, you will do a very special recital animation. No? Tandaan po ito. Yan, yung parang uppercut na recital animation. Yan pong uppercut recital na yan ay sobrang taas ng KO value. Plus, sobrang bilis niyang i-execute. So speaking of double notes at hilt stab, kapag nagawa nyo na pagsamahin sila effectively sa loob ng isang hand, mas pibilis yung pag-Q or pag-add mo ng notes para mas mabilis kang makapaggawa ng recital. Alright, so let us now proceed to the top 5 HH na pwede mong gamitin kapag nagsisimula ka palang mag-hunting horn. So, top 1 is of course none other than the Belkana Hunting Horn. So, ito ang isa sa pinakamaaga mo maa-access na magandang hunting horn sa game. So, ang advantage niya is of course meron siyang magandang sharpness, 4 slot, plus meron siyang attack up large at defense up large na bap. Next sa ating top 5 hunting horn is of course the Rajang or the Denden Doom Sounder. Yan. So, ang kagandahan sa kanya is meron siyang buffs for your stamina and the stamina of your teammate or huntmate. At the same time, mataas ang kanyang raw. Top 3 is of course the Ruiner Hunting Horn. So, ang advantage naman ng Ruiner Nergigante Hunting Horn is it has the affinity and earplugs large buff. Plus, napakahaba ng white sharpness niya and look at that hunting horn. Napakaganda para napasarap ihataw sa pagmumuka ng monster. Next is of course the Teostra Hunting Horn or the anti Black Veil Balhasak Hunting Horn. So ang gamit naman nito is of course the Divine Blessing, Bop, the anti status and increase status attack, Bop. And last but not the least is of course the Sinogre or Sinogre Hunting Horn. So, this is your elemental hunting horn. Yan. So, yung buffs niya ay more on the elemental side. So, yan po yung ating limang hunting horn. Sila po ay magkakaiba ng buffs. At sila po yung pwede yung unang limang gamitin na hunting horn. So, hindi natin in-include dito the Sapijiba hunting horn dahil ibang level po yon. Ibang level yon. Ito po is for the starting hunting horn users. Okay, next. Para naman sa melody. Ano ba yung mga magagandang melody for the hunting horn? So, salamat sa Sapi Jiba. Nalaman natin kung anong mga tier ng hunting horn or ng mga melody ng hunting horn ang magaganda. The first one is of course the attack tree melody or the attack melody tree. So, ito po yung buffs niya. The next is of course yung earplug melody. Next is of course the abnormal status melody. Next is the stamina melody four. Next is of course the elemental melody four. And last but not the least is of course yun tina tawag natin or pinangalanan ko na lang siya na tool melody. All right for the skill. Ang mga marerecommend ako is of course your bread and butter, hindi dapat mawala, is the horn maestro. Next is of course if you want to go on a support role, huwag pawawalain ang wide range. Next is of course the premil secret yan. Ito pong skill na to is a new addition to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So ang gamit ng premil secret is of course at level 3, magagawa mong gumamit halos ng unlimited mega potion. Next is of course a little hunting tip. Yan. So number one is always use your glider mantle for the hunting horn or any other weapon. So magagamit mo to for its slot at sa haba ng duration at sa kanyang utility. Next is of course use the radial menu sharpen. Kung hindi pa po kayo familiar dito, mas mabilis mag sharpen ng weapon kapag nasa radial menu mo siya. Next na tip 
at sobrang importante lalong lalo na sa nagsisimulang gumamit ng hunting horn. Tandaang mabuti. Gumamit ka lang muna ng isang hunting horn. Probably yung hunting horn na merong attack up large at defense up large. So bakit kailangan gumagamit ka lang ng isang hunting horn sa simula? Isang reason lang para maging second nature sa iyo yung pagtugtog ng hunting horn. Kapag pakiramdam mo nagiging second nature na yung pagtugtog ng mga notes sa iyo ng hunting horn, by that time pwede ka nang gumamit ng ibang hunting horn or ibang hunting horn na may ibang melody. At yun naman yung pag-aralan mo or kabisaduhin mo kung paano tinutugtog yung melody na yun. So tandaan, use one hunting horn at a time. So dako tayo sa ating pros and cons or the advantage and disadvantage of using the hunting horn. So number one, hunting horn can induce or cause exhaust and stun to monster. So pwede mong pagurin at pwede mong i-stun yung monster gamit yung mga attack mo. Next is of course, yan. Ano ba yung pinakamalupit na pros ng hunting horn? Of course, ang pinakamalupit na pros ng hunting horn na wala sa ibang weapon is of course your buff system. So di ba napakalupit ng hunting horn? Tandaan nyo po yun. Huwag mamalitin. It is not a simple support weapon. It is one of the best and powerful weapon in the game. Sa cons or sa disadvantage ng hunting horn, siguro isa lang para sa akin. It's not for beginner. Yan. So, kung nagsisimula ka palang mag-hunt at hunting horn yung pipiliin mong weapon, medyo nakaka-prostrate yan. Alright. So, yun. Nakatapos tayo ng ating tutorial for the hunting horn. Again, maraming 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 salamat po. Naway nakatulong po itong ating medyo komplikado na in-depth tutorial ng hunting horn. <laughs> at of course, pagpasensyahan nyo na, hindi po tayo pro again sa paggamit ng hunting horn. So, again, if you have any comments or any tips sa paggamit ng hunting horn na hindi nyo po nakita dito sa video na to uh, gusto, na gusto nyo i-share sa ibang mga hunting horn user, yan. So, feel free to use the comment box down below. So, again po, uh, like, follow, and share. And of course, do follow me on my Facebook streaming page. Search nyo lang po, Prop Macho Man. At kapag na-timingan nyo ako, nag stream doon. You can ask me any question related to Monster Hunter and especially the hunting horn. So muli po, yan, maraming 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 salamat. At ito po muli ang inyong lingkod. Prop Macho Man, ang inyong pong teacher sa umaga. Hunter at streamer sa gabi na nagsasabi po sa inyong lahat na maraming maraming salamat. Thank you at happy holidays.